In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this simple logo or text reveal in Adobe After Effects. So the effect we're going to be using to do this is the write on effect. So right now I've just got a solid background and my logo image. And there's no reason this couldn't work on text layers or whatever kind of layer. And we're going to search in the effects and presets panel for the write on effect. This is in the generate folder. So it's write dash on if you can't find it. And we're going to add that to our logo layer. And now in the effect controls panel, we're just going to adjust a few things about this. So for one, we want the paint style to be reveal original image. This is what's going to allow it to reveal the logo. And then the next thing we're going to do is just add some keyframes and adjust some things about the brush size. So firstly, we're just going to move the brush size around. So as we increase it, you should see that it's just revealing wherever the brush size is. And I can click and move the position around. You'll see it'll only reveal the position. But the key to this effect is the stroke length, actually. So right now it's zero seconds. But if I increase it, I'll start with something like five seconds. We'll see as I add a keyframe what happens. So I'm also going to increase the size a bit just because I'm working with this large square. So I'm going to go for an animation that's something like this. And we're going to do this with some simple keyframes. So to make our animation, I'm going to click the stopwatch icon under brush position. Make sure I'm at the very beginning of my composition or wherever I want to begin revealing. I'll click on that stopwatch icon. So it's now recording our keyframe position. So we're going to start in this case, I'll just start in the top left corner. And actually I'll start off of the logo. So it really starts from nothing. And then I'll move forward, maybe just a couple frames and I'll make one paintbrush and you see how it stretches from point A to point B. Then I'll move forward a couple frames and then maybe I'll go up this time. And you get the idea. I'll just keep moving forward and I can probably reveal this whole logo and just, oops, don't want to grab the background. Command Z. Uh, if, I have, if you ever mess up like that, just highlight the brush position thing again. Highlight that parameter and you can just continue on. And then lastly, I'll do my last one. Also, if, if you want, you can zoom in on the timeline. It's a lot easier to see what's going on. So I'm going to finish up there. And if for any case your settings weren't quite right, like for example, if the brush size was a lot lower, then you'll see that it doesn't really fill in just like this. And also the brush spacing, here's where you can adjust to be more spaced out or less spaced out. But you can you should basically just adjust the settings until your entire logo is filled in with no blank spaces so that it doesn't look funny. And if you do want to use a smaller brush size, then you should probably do more keyframes. So I'm going to press play on that. Just see what it looks like. I've got a quick scribble in. If I want, I can also spread these keyframes apart. A quick way to jump between keyframes, don't forget, is J and K in After Effects. So these jump right to the keyframes and you can highlight all of them as well if you want. You can also do things like right click on the keyframe and ease out or ease into some keyframes for a little bit of velocity of movement. And if I press play, we'll see we get this cool scribble animation. There's nothing stopping you from even putting a little scribble sound effects on there if you want to sell it. Um, but the other thing is this can automatically animate out based on the stroke length that you chose. So in this case, this these strokes are going to last five seconds from the keyframe, and then they're going to uh, undo themselves. So if I just let this run for the five seconds, we'll automatically see the transition out, which is fun because we don't have to do any more keyframes. If I want it to last even shorter, just like a couple seconds, I can lower the stroke length amount, and the logo will go away in, in three seconds or longer. I can make it last 10 seconds, and then the strokes will remain until that time is up. But that's the basic idea of this effect. There's no reason that it can't work for also a text layer or even like photo layers, whatever you want. You can do this cool write on effect. If you enjoyed this video, my name is Justin Odisho. You can check out hundreds of more for free on my channel on After Effects and other Adobe apps and other things as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.